the federal government has decided you may be getting too much fluoride in your drinking water. After four years of research, it's decided to lower the amount you drink. News 13's Justin Hinton joins us live from Asheville. And Justin, fluoride in drinking water is a pretty controversial issue. It is. Opponents will say that, you know, when they come to their, their cabinet, they grab a glass, then fill it up with some water. Well, the fluoride inside, those health effects may not be known. So instead of drinking this water, they'll head on over to their refrigerator and grab a bottle instead. But some people say that's not the best idea either. And after several years of research, it looks like less fluoride may be more. Throughout the country, the recommended amount of fluoride in drinking water is going down the drain. Lowered by the federal government from a range of 0.7 to 1.2 milligrams per liter to a now flat 0.7 for everyone after too much fluoride has been linked to white splotches on children's teeth. Does that feel okay? When you Something Dr. Robert Powell of Asheville Dental Care has seen far too often in his patients. A tiny bit of fluorosis probably doesn't look good, but probably makes your, your teeth stronger. But if it, if it goes over the top, your teeth get chalky. That's one of the reasons he supports the reduction. I think some people are getting a little too much fluoride, so this is probably a good move to reduce fluorosis, but still, you still need that fluoride in the water so these kids don't end up with more cavities. But for some, that reduction does not go far enough. In 2013, Brevard City Council voted unanimously not to reintroduce fluoride into the city's water supply. There's no fluoride in Franklin's water either. But Powell says no fluoride is not good either. I think that's detrimental. I think they made a big mistake. I absolutely think fluoride is really important for, for the health of teeth. And it doesn't make the inside of your teeth stronger, it makes the enamel stronger. Leading this doctor to support the new recommendation, especially in what his experience has taught him. Having fluoride in the water is extremely important uh, to combat all these other things that are making people really have more decay than they did for a long time. So what about Asheville? Well, according to a January sampling, the fluoride that's in this water is less than that 0.7 recommendation. Reporting live in Asheville, Justin Hinton, News 13.